Hey, welcome to a project that we're going to start today with C Sharp. We're going to build a form that demonstrates all the types of controls that are commonly used in a data entry form. And then after we uh, create this uh, object, we're going to save it as a superhero. Once we have a superhero defined, we will have a second form that will appear and it will sort and display all of the heroes that have been created. So there are several goals that we're going to reach with this program. First of all, the first goal is for understanding graphical user interface controls in C Sharp. And so you'll see a variety of controls. Secondly, it's probably just as important to understand which types of data are associated with each control. For example, if you have a data entry point where you put in a name, you'll probably understand that that should be a string as it's backing data. And so there's lots of different kinds of data that we can use in our controls. Another goal is to have a list of hero objects. So we will define a class called hero, save it as a list, and that list will be shown on a second form. Now, part of the challenge of this uh, two-form solution is how do, how do applications in C Sharp share data among themselves? So where is the point where you save a list? Do you save it on form one? Do you save it on form two? And we're going to see that we save it in an external third type of class called a static class. The only thing really missing from this program will be the ability to save all the heroes to a file or to a database but we can get that in another assignment in the future. So this is the design that I'm going for. The first form that we're going to build is supposed to illustrate every type of common control that you can have on a Windows form. And so you can see the first section is a group box that contains a bunch of check boxes. So the important part of these controls is not only to see how they work on the screen, but how can you save the data what kind of data structure works best for each of these. And so for the checkboxes, likely we'll be using an array of uh, booleans because a checkbox is a true false statement. Then the next section down here is the office locations, which is a bunch of uh, strings. So this looks like it will be stored as an array of strings. The preferred transport is a radio button collection. And so radio buttons are also a true false except only one of them is allowed to be a true false so we could use a structure such as simple as an integer which could hold a number of like from 0 to 3 in this case because there are four total choices then we have some sliders at the bottom and the goal here is to make them so that they all combine to be less than 100 total points and so we'll have to do some programming to figure out how those will be balanced with each other. And so we'll be doing some event handlers for every time we change one of the sliders. Then you can see in the top right corner, we're going to work on three different uh, strings as well. These are dates. And so strings and dates are what the uh, data structure is behind the control. The year's experience is obviously an integer. It holds a number. And then the uh, cape color, we're going to select using a color picker and uh, the string will be the type of value that will store the color. Uh, the dark side propensity is another type of slider bar, and we will put in a, uh, another integer for that. And then the portrait, we could load a picture and save the picture in there. And then finally, the create me button will be the only button on here that really has a method that does uh, any kind of data processing. So the goal here isn't for you to copy exactly what I've got, but you can use this as, a, as an example. So in my special abilities, for example, you can use different special abilities. What the main goal is that we need to have checkboxes, and that's what we're trying to illustrate. 